So, um, just to kind of start generically, mm -hmm. what can you tell us about your character? Yes. Uh, you can expect a lot of action from the female. She's the muscle of the group, the strongest one. <laughs> and uh, the first season um, is about her finding herself um, and her position within the boys. Um, I think we initially see her in episode four in a very uh, caged, literally and both <laughs> figuratively, uh, caged, vulnerable place. And, um, you know, throughout the episodes go on, um, it's her finding her, um, yeah, again, place in, within the voice and what her purpose is. And, yeah. You've been in, so we know you from Suicide Squad as well. These are both kind of subversive uh, superhero movies, or mm -hmm. in this case, a show. Yes. Um, do you find it kind of fun to be a part of something that's like not just a straightforward telling of the genre? I love it. I love it. Um, for Squad, it was uh, she ha was very aware of her sense of honor and what is right and wrong and what she believed was right. Um, for the boys, the female has no idea what is right or wrong um, until later on, and she. I love playing her because she doesn't really have a. Um, a trained sense of the world. She doesn't know what society has, ta has taught all of us to do. She's unfiltered and unapologetic and kind of does what she believes in in the moment. Yeah. What What would you say uh, people can expect to see from you as the season goes on? And uh, I mean, I, it's uh, hard not to spoil everything, but... Yeah, um, I, I hope that people see her heart even when she's not speaking. <laughs> yeah. um, this is sort of a cheesy question, but if you could be any superhero, or be in any superhero role, I guess, mm -hmm. what would you choose? In any superhero? I mean, I, Katana, obviously, <laughs> um, and the female has some special powers that are very cool, so I wouldn't really change a thing about who I'd want to be.